everybody Ann here, sitting in front of the tiny house, watching my chickens. I've already had my coffee. Good morning, Romeo. I don't know what kind of day it's going to be today. The sun's been going in and out of the clouds. I don't know. It looks like it's going to rain. My body feels like it's going to rain. Anyhow, um, well, let's have a look at a, let's have a look at a couple things I did. Inside here, I have... I've got a little composting toilet right now. Um, I'm going to change it out with a black one uh, once I empty it and clean it. I've just got that over the top of it because I've ordered another toilet seat, but it hasn't come in yet, and I just don't want to leave it open. Um, I'm going to put a little bucket of bulk material over here. I've got that for a trash can, and I, I've got a little grocery bag down in it. And I put the lid on top because I don't want to leave any trash. Basically, all the trash is going to be, be is um, like baby wipes. Here, let me show you over here. This is the bucket. It's clean, pristine, clean bucket. I've just got it covered up with this, uh, the cover that came with this. Um, there's a bath mat. And in here, I have put two pieces, two things of toilet paper. I can't talk this morning. Um, in a Ziploc bag because you don't want to just leave it out because it's very humid here and then the, the toilet paper gets all damp and I don't want it to get mold, moldy. I got a thing of hand sanitizer and these are baby wipes. These do not go in the composting toilet. So that's why I put this little thing here. Um, and there's actually, I got those from the dollar store. There's three of them. I've stacked them up on top of each other. So when I take a shower, I will... I will likely leave the composting toilet in because that's not a big deal. Um, I'll have to take the bucket and put water in it, but I'll remove this right here and put it outside just so that it doesn't get a bunch of water on it. And yep, this is my little shower slash uh, potty room. I like it. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, oh, that hose is a little kinked. There was another hose on here and it was leaking. Uh, so I finally figured out how to get it off. It was on really, really tight. I actually had to turn this bolt a little bit. Um, yeah, this needs to be unkinked. It will. I just put this little thing right here underneath of it just to see how much it leaks overnight, and it didn't leak at all. We had a little bit of rain last night, so that's just the little bit of rain that got down into it. Look how much water I've been using. Yep, that's the top, and I'm down to this. Whoa, we need more rain. Look at how absolutely beautiful it's starting to look out here. Oh, more grass is coming up, everything's turning green. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Let's go see if Miss Pris Pants Pants will let us look at her baby chickens. Look at here. Look at those beautiful eggs. Five again today. These chickens have been so good laying eggs every day. I'm gonna let them out to do a little bit of free ranging today. That's right, chickens. Oh, they miss it so much. 
I just hope they stay on my property. Come on now, chickens. See? There's a wonderland of food out here. I gotta figure out a way to get them, to let them graze more, because they don't have any greenery left. And they've been eating so much more chicken feed since they've not been free ranging. I mean, of course. Look. Mommy's like, look here, girls. There's plenty of stuff over here. I'm trying to discourage them from going over this way and on my neighbor's property. I'm hoping they'll just kind of like head towards the creek area. There's plenty of bugs over there. Look at all this stuff growing around this tree. Hmm, I think that's a blackberry plant. Look at the vine. Is it? Yup, it's thorny, so it's not poison ivy. That's awesome. All right, chickens, don't go the wrong direction. You should come over here by your sisters. Oh, they better not cross that street. They better not. See, even Romeo loves it. He's finding good food for the girls. Oh, I bet you they miss doing this. I think that may be why they've been fighting so much lately, because they're just cooped up in that same old place all the time. Go to it, chickens. I turned over a couple logs. That's where I like to go to find them food. There's snails, slugs, worms. Hopefully they'll find it. Just look at them go, guys. They're so happy. Man, I gotta free range these chickens. There's just been so many hawks out lately. And they keep going further and further each time. Look, it looks like I got more blackberries going on. Whoa, I don't even need to transplant. I don't need to transplant a single thing. Happy chickens. Look at Romeo. You know what? I just thought of something. I'm going to have to be very, very careful to make sure they don't get into the garden beds. <sighs> See, that's the main thing. The garden beds. Hmm. Got to figure this out. You know what? I think I'm just going to have to watch them and make sure, <laughs> supervise them. I'll just have to shoo them away. Maybe walk around with my chickens as they free range. So I'm just going to watch. And once they start heading over for the garden, I'm just going to have to shoo them away or shoo them back into the run. Hopefully they'll be entertained enough out there so I won't have to do that. But they just love, love to free range. Oh my goodness. What's for dinner tonight? Well, fresh bass. Yep, I fried it up this time. Uh, Mr. Lucas' brother, Paul, caught a bunch of fish. And he filleted a few of them. I think he filleted them all and he brought me over some. So I breaded them and I fried them up. There's a couple fritters. Fritter, fritter. Fritter, <laughs> no fish in them. You can't tell the difference. But this is what's for dinner tonight. Look at this poor boy. What do you think? I think I should give some to him. Chickens want them too. Seriously, you guys, just look at this. Look how perfect it is done. Papa wants it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Scrumptious. Okay, Paul, you are totally getting one of my mini chainsaws. Yes, indeed. That dinner was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to charge one of them up and decide which one I think would work better for you and bring it on over. Thank you so much for all those fish. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.